Today we might get a little deep, we might get a little bit emotional, we're going to go into our psyche, it's going to be an episode all about death and how we feel about it. Today we are joined by Pablo and Mark, Mr. Ordinary Movie Mark. So guys, our first question is, how often do you think about death? Jokingly, a lot. Excessively, a lot. Like over compulsively, you get me jokingly, but really, really thinking about death? Barely. I'd say quite Barely. often, honestly. I wouldn't uh, say every single day, but I feel like once, let's say let's, um, I'm having just a day and I'm just like on my own, mm-hmm. then I run out of things to think about. I start to think about death usually, and usually it's within myself, like what if today's the day? Or, you know, those memes where you're like, oh, I feel sharp pain. And you're like, maybe mm. this is it. So that's another one where Take I'm me. like, fuck. Sweet relief. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. See, that's, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Daily. Oh, the joking. Oh, mm. yes. Obsos- uh, like daily too much. What that's, say? Uh, For me, that's more of a common. That's not you thinking about it. I mean, never because do that's it. just a go to joke, to be honest. If it's we're going to be doing dark humor, I mean, I dark humor that shit every fucking day. That's yeah, no, exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what, but you're I not thinking do. about it. Yeah, you, no. you don't think about the weight of those words of, oh, yeah, kill me now. So you're talking about but like the seriousness of the like when ser- you actually you sit, sit alone or was a conversation like we're having yeah, right now. I mean, the time Once went a week. Maybe. I mean, I Once feel a like. Week. Wow. That's that's pretty often, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I feel usually I tend to think about death a lot more often, usually at night when I'm driving alone or when it's raining or when we're at the beach, actually. I was actually thinking of death. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty wild. I really didn't say anything, but yeah, I was thinking about death. That's why you didn't join us in the water. Yeah, (laughs) because I was kind of afraid of being taken by a current. And I mean, that's it. Okay, There goes Mark, you know. (laughs) <laughs> Interesting. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I say I think about it like every three, four months. It's not too often in my head, but then I'll know where it's like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go one day. Yeah. My eventually. number's going to get called. Yeah. I mean, it can happen anytime. It can happen any second. I mean, right now you can just drop dead. And I did not write this question, but I sh- I'm now interested. What would you guys consider as the worst way to die? Oh, that's good. That's good. But I mean, uh, what's. I some ease are fl- on fire or. Drowning. So I believe drowning in general, asphyxiation mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. general. That's that's a real thing because technically speaking, did you know that in when you burn in a fire, you're more you're likely suffocating. Gonna, yeah, you're suffocating su- first and yeah. then but you'll still receive all the pain. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think in my opinion, that's why I don't even say drowning anymore. I just say asphyxiation because the desperation of trying to get that air oh, psychologically, how difficult it is drowning. I'm just saying it's yeah. like. You're like, you can't do anything. Like, no, like, you know, you're, you're. Yeah, yeah. because even the moments before the lead up to, to either getting engulfed in flame or being drowned is like, oh, crap, I'm in this situation. Oh, no, I'm panicking. Oh, no. Like, at least, at least with being shot or something, it's like, fuck, it hurts. Ah, uh, ah, uh, like, oh, I'm getting weaker. What the, you know? Uh huh. But with the death, it's but like, it, I can't it, do anything. At least, anything. Mm, at least the pain yeah. will be in one area if you correct, get shot. Correct, correct. Versus like, oh, oh, what is this fear? <laughs> yeah. 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 No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, the last thing I heard that when you're drowning, it feels like you're burning because technically your lungs are yeah. like yeah. the seawater. So it's another usually, way of just the, burn. The salt yeah. aspirates. Like, yeah. It just like explodes. Your, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. one thing I've heard. But I feel like the worst pain would probably be falling. Like oh. off a cliff or something. I feel like no, that's too that's tremendous. So good. That's no, instant. Because you'll be in tremendous. If you survive, pain. that's why. It, then it's not death. Yeah, but I mean, but death. I mean, slow. You'll that's start. That's not an injury. Oh. You'll slowly start dying. Like you succumb to the yeah. injuries and you die at the hospital. Adrenaline is there because there's <laughs> physical pain there. Yeah, but the aftermath yeah. is bad. But I think you'll die if it's. I mean, if you're saying falling off a cliff, right? And I'm thinking you survive until death because here's the thing. But after you're a in certain pain, point, though. You're but excruciating after a certain pain. Point, let's say after a you, certain point, there's like a death point. Like mm. if you jump from here, you're dead. But if you jump from here, you're probably going to die within the second after impact. You get me? Like it's you like, won't be instant. It's like there's Batman just, Batman begins with like, you know this height won't kill me and counting on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. I, I just feel like, I guess because I'm... I go on Are roller coasters. Are you afraid coasters, of heights? I am afraid of heights. Oh, okay. That's one of the reasons why. Even though I go on oh. roller coasters, but that just... The idea of heights. Kind For of example, like uh, Supreme Scream that goes through a straight down. Mm-hmm. Would you ever do Supreme Scream or is that like I an off limit? Supreme Scream. Yeah. But do I you ride it? Too. Because uh, some people if, would say no. If, oh, so if people go force, on it, gotcha. then I'm just like, ah, fine, okay. I'm not going to be the party pooper. Then Correct. I'll go on. Gotcha. Uh, it's same, yeah. same it's like, it's like, um, the it's, it's weird for me when Supreme Scream comes. I used to like, it's the, the imagination of fear. Yeah. Obviously. But until I wrote it, I was like, 
oh, this is not that bad. Because for a moment, I don't know if it's psychological or whatever. It's like there's mm. a moment of bliss when you're falling. Yeah. Like I'm not worried about it. Like even if I, I were to go out right now, I would be in a blissful moment. Did you know, and I, I don't know how factual this is, but I'm very certain that usually in those cases it's determined that they died of a heart attack before they fall into the floor because of that whole like. Also, I'm having heart attack midway. That isn't, that's why I'm saying it all depends because, for example, just in your case, I kind of have a fear of heights, I think, because I have a physical reaction. Mm-hmm. My knees get oh, wobbly. Wow. Okay. Yeah, and I can't help it. Yeah, yeah. In my head, you get me like I'm able to push forward usually, right? Yeah. But I'm wondering if I'm gonna be like those. I don't know if you've seen the videos of like people like in really really high places and their legs are shaking oh, so bad they can't move. Yeah. yeah. You see, I think I would try to move and maybe like my legs would still be wobbly like that. I think that would happen at most, but I don't know why it does that. You get me? I don't know why why that. No, yeah, the that's fear a physical. Is there. You yeah. get me? It has to be that I'm scared. You get me? That's just how my body is reacting. So I'm assuming, like, when people are jumping from these buildings, it's like, holy, it's going to happen, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Well, <laughs> what, I, what I've heard, like, you actually lose um, your way of breathing. You actually have to try to, like, control your breathing when you're going, when you're falling. It's like, like, it's like, like I, I, yeah. yeah. I heard people really can't breathe, but they actually force you to, like, relax, slowly breathe, and you'll start to actually get it's like oxygen It's like jet fighters, in. you got to... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's and if you panic, thing. you'll that's definitely like die going down. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. that's why a lot of people faint when they're going like straight down. That'll be fun. Would you ever do skydiving? Not now. I've thought mm-hmm. about it. Maybe later on. But why not now and later? Yes. Uh, I just feel like I would panic and I'd actually lose consciousness and maybe even possibly. Do you like think pass. you'd have better skills later on in life, or probably honestly? I feel like the older you are, the more likelihood of an accident happening. No. Not really, because I've seen a lot of old people do it well, at that Because I'm age. pretty sure they have experience at that point. Mm-hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you talking about solo? Because like not fr- solo. Oh, well, your first time skydiving. Obviously, always you're not has do to s- be with somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. That's not likely, right? Because I have the same answer, but different reasons. Like kids, mm. like the risk is too there. You yeah, get me? the risk is is too there. You get me? The kids can't take care of themselves. But I'm saying like down the line when I'm 50 and Jackie and the kids are well, you get me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm down. Sure. Like if I go, then fuck it. That's how I go. Exactly. You know? That's yeah, why yeah, I exactly. prefer in a, such an older Oh, age. I see. Yeah. Okay. So it's like, all right, last event. If this is where I go, then this is how I'm going to go. Fuck it. Gotcha. You know? Okay. For sure. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd go skydiving. Uh, I don't think I have a time in life, though. I, I, I get your reasoning, mm-hmm. though. But if like you guys were to tell me like, oh, I got skydiving tickets for tomorrow. Nah, fuck it. I wouldn't do it right it. now because of the weight too. Oh yeah, that was you know I mean? that I was a like, big factor like a year ago. Yeah, yeah I like, agree. Like I wouldn't do it because of the weight. It's like, give me two parachutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like because you'll go down faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> of course, you have less reaction time than we would. Gravity, right? Exactly. <laughs> At a certain point, no, because you're you know you're just like mm. that. But yeah. Yeah, I feel it. So, at what age would you like guys like to die? You know, an idea? Honestly, I've always thought of the idea of maybe like late fifties, possibly sixties. But now that I'm getting older, I feel like 70, 75 would probably be more appropriate. See, see, I was kind of in the same boat. Like when I was younger, I would be like a hundred, of course, like a mm-hmm. hundred. Then, like teenage years, I was also like maybe fifty. I won't make it past that. Mm-hmm. And now that like you're like, oh, I'm almost thirty, or I'm thirty. Mm-hmm. Like, mm, well, twenty years left. That's kind of a little bit. Yeah, we have a little bit more wiggle room. So I'd like to reach eighty. Eighty. Okay, 80. that's reasonable. Is a solid Definitely reasonable for me. Truth be told, my age has always been. So Jack and I have had a conversation about this. Mm-hmm. Truth be told, I always thought I would die before forty. Mm-hmm. Like oh, always, wow. because I would go ahead and I would the positions I would put myself in my life would be always trying to help someone out while putting myself at risk. You get me? So mm-hmm. they know, so like, oh, okay. like no matter what, in every line you get me in my life, I feel like that's what it would be. But because I have a family now and I have a wife now and we spoke, like I can generally say that she makes me want to live longer in that sense. So yeah, okay. we established that around 82. So we can have a mm-hmm. long okay, life, yeah. you get me? And have a long t- time together, just us, you get me? Yeah, in the sense I of like, that. you know, like that. that and would hopefully be great it. grandchildren. Exactly. Like you could just... Mm. See them, yeah. Right, please. <laughs> exactly. You get me? Yeah. Totally get that. Totally. I feel. I feel like that age group tends to change whenever you guys have kids. Like I know you both have kids. Yeah. So like for me, I know I don't have kids right now, but I feel but like you're still pretty close to our 
You're off by five that's, years. That's true. But I mean, it's just the idea of it, like, damn, like, I'm going to have kids. I guess I do want a little bit more longer. Yeah. yeah. You know? Um, but yeah, I still, for me, I still feel like 70, 75 is still my ideal age. But that's, a, that's not a bad age. <laughs> no, it's opinion. not. Mm-hmm. Because you know what, ideally, it should, they should already be out of the house. Ideally, we'll see. Ideally. How. <laughs> the, future, the future holds is it for us. <laughs> yeah. We'll, but, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, dude. You'd be screwed. That'd be like a 30 year old still at the house. Oh, well, I mean, you. some Jeez, a lot of people in our Jeez. generation who. Thank you. You're, you're, you you yeah. don't consider yourself lucky, but we are. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. I know, but that's not at all it's what I'm saying. Lucky and then lucky motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no. Fuck <laughs> no, you, lucky. I left. <laughs> screw you. I didn't screw that. Up. I can't leave. <laughs> oh no, I yeah. get that. I get that. In that sense. See, we all have a reason on why, but at the same time, it's like. Uh, but I'm not even saying it in a bad way. I'm saying in the sense of like, if the like, for instance, the whole point is why I'm saying like that. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming you would want to go and offer your children the opportunity to be able to be like, hey, oh, yeah. a stable of foundation. Course. We weren't given that. I yeah. You I get mean, me? Yeah, we, we were all given different level foundations. You get me? So mm-hmm. like, you know, your parents probably start not probably started mm-hmm. yours. You get me essentially with this too. Right. right. Not mine. And for yours is even a different situation. You get me? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Correct, exactly, because, exactly. You get me? Yeah. Because it's harder to transition from renter to homeowner. That's the hard part. Correct. Yeah, so yeah. once you're in the homeowner, it's a little bit, as long as you're financially stable with the payment, you're more eligible to give your kids that. Correct. 100%. Correct, correct. So I'm going to th- suffer through the transition. You get yes, me? For 100%, my kids. 100%. You get me? Your parents mm-hmm. suffered yours. Now you're going to build. You get me? We're on. Di- it's all exactly. different. Uh-huh. You're starting... So thank you get you. Me? I'm not saying Jeez. in a bad way. I'm not saying in a bad no, way. I'm no, saying, it's, I'm saying it's, it's the fact of the matter. You get me? No, yeah. it is. It really is. You know, I mean, it's way. Way. it's we can call it. It's real life. It's, it's, it's life. You know, it's it's understandable. That's definitely. life. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So with, with with that being said, the goal is that you're gonna want to offer your your the, uh, be, pr- uh, present your children the opportunity to be able to leave before thirty. You get yeah, me? 100%. Yeah, hundred percent. You get me? Even if it's to college and they come back, sure. What, you get me? But like they're in in that middle point. You get me? Yeah, 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 definitely. Instead of having the it's not like it's like not even new. an option. Yeah, exactly. They're in school. They're little. <laughs> when you're eighteen, get the fuck out of this house or you're paying rent. Exactly. <laughs> you get me? Something. That's yeah. the best option. Just kidding. Hey, it's whatever deal is sometimes like you go to college, you don't have to pay rent or you can help with a bill or something. Correct, you know? correct, it just correct. depends on everyone's finances at that point. That's true. Life decisions too. Exactly. Exactly. Because life's true. a bitch. Facts. So the premise, so the premise, this next question. So when I do think about this, it's not just my own. I've always thought about like who in our group would die first Ooh. and who would we all visit the their funeral first. So my question is, who do you guys think would die first? Selfishly, me. Yeah. Because I'm thinking, real, I'm thinking factors. Yes, right? correct. So that's, I, I have to part say, of the thing, yeah. of, I'm not saying you want to die first. Exactly. Yes, I get. But that. I'm, I'm unfortunately the unhealthy is because of my size. Correct. correct. I also really, the, we all know I don't You'd get sleep. You'd be surprised. Usually, size is not always one of the reasons. Well, well hear me <laughs> up. Ready? Uh, I have bad it's things ex- going against no, me. No, I understand, but I'm just, I don't get a lot of sleep, and also there's a stress factor in life. You get me. So mm-hmm. we all suffer, you know, to us, it's the most that we're suffering the most, right? Because of selfish thoughts. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's also how you deal with it. You get me? So even mm-hmm. if you're not going a lot through a lot, you could be going through a lot. You get me? Yeah. Um, but see, that's the, that's the beautiful thing about life is that doesn't even matter at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. No, my mom, of the weight, my, my, the weight plays no, a because huge my, because there's physical, you know, well, thing. My mom would hate because she'd be like, oh... I'll see how long I live and uh, I'll die first. And I'll tell her like, no. With that goes, her, you'll live the longest. <laughs> no, she's like, why? She goes, I'm old. I go, yeah, but I could die tomorrow. My age doesn't bring a factor. Mm-hmm. Your weight doesn't bring a factor. Mm-hmm. It too, wrong time, wrong place type of thing. Definitely. That's, that's, that's what I was basically referring to. Because you could, like I said, you can say all these things about yourself, but, but you just don't know what can happen tomorrow. I mean, you can, you can literally drive today yeah, 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 and you'd and be gone. The last, yep. yeah, yeah. And that's 100%. it. You, know? you can go on an airplane. That can be your last trip. Correct. But those are things you can't account for. Basing no, correct. Basing things you accounted for. And here's the that's thing. That's why I'm too, saying told- for accounting for, I agree. But yeah. then there's still that wild card of, course. of life. So yeah. wild, uh, wild card wise, who do you think would go though? Wild, wild card, card wise? Yes. Wow, that's I wasn't Definitely that. me still. What? <laughs> I'm really? The, I'm the, I have the riskiest lifestyle. You're just being too nice. No. I, I feel like I, I have the do riskiest agree lifestyle. There. Really? Because I deal with chemicals. I'm, I'm 
constantly oh, okay. in an yeah. enclosed space. You're right. Yep. I did. Mm-hmm. You get me? My work style, my, you get me, is the, mm-hmm. the most dangerous out of all. That's true. No, yeah. That does make sense. Yeah. My so wild that's what I'm saying. It's still there. It's still there. You get me? It might, it might mm-hmm. still Whether there. it be factor, it might be Pablo. But a wild card, it, it could land on any of us. I think a wild card, you can't predict them. No, you can't. But without yeah. them, I definitely would say. And then the hardest decision here would be the next. That'd be rough. I don't know who. Yeah, I'm always. I've always thought about this to like, damn, if you were to die or you were to die, who reaches out to me or how would we find out? How how is the news broken to us? Will we be watching the news? Will we be strolling through and just see a story? Or so I would say for me, it would be either Jackie or my sisters, right? Ideally, yeah, yeah I can definitely see Ideally. a message coming from him, be like, yo, so something yeah. just happened. Yep, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. 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 I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even, I don't even mean, think as a group even, you'll probably like send it personally to everybody. No, oh, I I normally do. Yeah, it's rare yeah. when I send a group text. Mm-hmm. Um, for but like if it were to be Jose Elias, it would be you would hear first because you have the closest ear to him. Yeah, but if see, I'm anything, not connect. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm like I'm not. See, I don't have. I know I have your brother actually. But I don't know but if your brother would reach out. He don't post nothing. Exactly. I don't know if he'd reach out to me. For I you, don't know. That's true. I can't. I don't. It would be. See if like oh, realistically, it's, it's, if it's, me and Loris were to die at the same time, how do you guys find out about Vero. it? Do you guys have Vero? On? I do. Oh, okay, okay. I do, and I have, and I know Karen too. Like, hey, yeah, I'm but how does she out. find out? You know, like correct. If, but I'm saying, like, are you on constant communication with her? I'd say somewhat. Yeah. Yeah. Th- there's that possibility. You get me? Yeah. You get me. Also, but it could be just a dead. Vero also. That I think honestly, the lifesaver there would be uh, Vero's family. Hmm. Hmm. There, there, there would be like. Because her dad constantly calls her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That would be the, like, what the, why aren't they answering? Where's Kike? Yeah. No, 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 this and that. You get me? Mm-hmm. That would be that. So we have that there. And I have both. I have your family and, and technically, oh, yeah, your family and p- part of our family on Instagram, too. With okay. you, I have no idea how it Actually, for some out reason. Yeah, because I'm know. pretty sure my family probably reached out to you. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, just, that just because yeah, of the exactly. podcast. Just because of the podcast. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I think your sister, hello, likes <laughs> uh, likes our post. Yeah, so, she like, does. She doesn't follow me, but she likes to post. So yeah, she'll that probably, communication. Yeah, most likely. Jose Elias, it'd still be through you. You yeah. have his family, Because his right? sister also. Yeah. Even Emilio. Same thing. His mom, you. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Emilio will still be through you. Damn, I'm, so hopefully I don't. You're the first. web. <laughs> I know. I'm the connecting factor. I've always known that, though. I've always known that you can because and not saying the root. Yeah, we've had a good connection, you know, through the, like through drama I've and also, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. You get me, Jose Elias. I've had this conversation. I want to say with you once, where it's like not to be the dick. I have thought about this one in conversation of death. Is like I'm the glue to everyone here. Yeah, yeah. I so don't if I were that. to die first, my concern. Like, is what happens to the group who Wait. continues the group truth be told if unless i'm not even shitting mm. unless jose Elias and mark and i develop a solid relationship maybe we can keep things going mm-hmm. exactly i, I truth feel be told, like, like it maybe. probably be your son honestly yeah that's how it would be yeah that would probably be the main Why, connection keep it, we'd be the uncles watching mm-hmm. for your for, for your son you know like that oh my god <laughs> Yeah, just thinking about it is pretty wild. Exactly. It would still be you then, bro. I should, yeah, you know, through, 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 your spot, yeah. Mm-hmm. through your spot. Like, <laughs> the sperm of my <laughs> The seed. The seed. <laughs> through the seed of your loins. Oh, jeez. Truth be told, bro. It would still be you. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah, even in death. Fuck. Even in death, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. Yep, we're going to do a quick little podcast outside the tomb. <laughs> <laughs> so today say- we're brought back. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like put Thoughts the mic right next to the day. Put the, put the mic right next to the, the grass. Be like, so are you going to say anything? <laughs> put a jack skeleton mask. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> That's crazy. That's awesome. Sorry, you're uh, speak clearly to the microphone. <laughs> gotcha. But that's my sense of humor. You no, get of course, me? that's yeah, all of us. So. That's all of us. That's how we cope, guys. Dark humor. <laughs> yeah. So, what kind of legacy would you guys like to leave? Oh my god, hard, bro! What are you one. doing to me? There is a podcast. Well, that. Obviously, that's go deep. That's hard. It's that is that is hard. Even as I was much. writing it, I'm like, what do I want to leave behind? It's too much. What For me, do. it's like, that's part of the reason I did YouTube is so I could yeah. relive the memories if I needed to, or I could share it with my, my son or whatever 
siblings. Damn. And so the day like, when they see this, what you guys ever do? Well, <laughs> if they see Long. this or if they have to take yeah, this exactly. over, please give us permission. It's like, hey, if you guys don't get to meet me, I mean, yeah. exactly. I there's some content point. that <laughs> they could see my voice, hear me, see me when I was young. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's that's at least a little thought process behind the YouTube stuff that I did. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, the house, this room, mm-hmm. hopefully, they keep it maintained. Not sell it. Or they're going to be oh, rebels God. and just change it all up. Exactly. And, <laughs> and put, like, oh, screw that. I think, but like, where are they going to like, where are we gonna put all this? Exactly. Because this is my attachment. That's not there. So they have. Correct. To, so it's mm-hmm. like. It depends on if they grew attached to it. Mm-hmm. You get me? It's like, oh, like, just saying, right? Like, oh, we always hated dad's wrestling collection. Yeah, correct. But we like her, his Marvel collection. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah. And then it'd be like, yeah, yeah, exactly. For them, it's like, then where do you keep it? Uh, it was his. <laughs> Yeah, correct. You or know? like they can sell it, pawn it, whatever. You get me? These are collectibles, you get me? And they're well yeah. maintained. Presumably, it'll continue to be like that, you know? Hopefully. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, that's my that's legacy. Uh, legacy wise, I'm not sure, honestly. I never really put into thought about that, honestly, to be honest. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a hard one. Legacy Because I, I presumably don't want to be like a legend among strangers. I want to, I want to, in this group, still my stories be told. Mm-hmm. That's what like my legacy I want to leave behind, where you guys could still go up to Kiki and be like, oh, "Your fucking father." Yeah. In yeah, this exactly. situation, this <laughs> dick would do this. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the legacy I always think. Your father's wild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gotta go straight to the camera. Just saying. Exactly. 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 Bro. When you're old enough and you see this, yeah. just know. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Oh man. So more than anything, right? More than for me, it's gonna be morals instilled in them. And, okay. uh, and I would say not, not so much beliefs, but faith. Okay. You get me? Faith. Like, and I'm not even saying in the sense of religious wise. I'm just saying faith. Like, you have a positive outlook in life. You get me? Like, in, in my personal belief, you know, we have this, this, and this in the afterlife. We have this for guidance and this, right? Mm-hmm. If they follow suit, cool. That's my goal, right? Mm-hmm. But more than anything, certain little morals or, 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 or like, or like, like, don't be a bad person. Yeah, you get me? Mm-hmm. You know, you treat yourself right. Treat your partner right. You get me? Right. Like, like little things like that. Just be a good person. I don't want my kid to be the fucking Karen out there and being like, this and this. You know, mm, those yeah. those people you can tell are sick. Like, like yeah. in the sense of like, like they have nastiness in their heart. You sure, get me? Yeah. I want to be able to go in like that. And all the, as, and also I'm being real, as much as wealth as I can leave them, as much as things I can leave them to prepare them, you get me? Yes. Mm-hmm. I just want to offer them a platform, you get me? And right. like, that's it. You get me? That's, that, that'd be great. You get me? If I can build on that already for them, great. If I can't, well, you know what? That's up to you. That's where you're going to strap yourself up. This is your life still, you get me? You mm-hmm. still yeah. got to seek it. Correct. But I want to go and install those beliefs that, will, that, that make them a good person. Uh, 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 I don't care if they're uh, they're if they're if they're nice, but I want them to be kind. Mm-hmm. You get me? You get me? Have a kind heart. I'm yeah. not saying be nice all the time. You get me? Because no, you got to be mean sometimes. But always a kind heart, a good heart. That's that's the legacy I want. And then yeah. me them to see like that. Dad wouldn't want me to kick that guy while he's down. Let me help. Exactly. Him. I got exactly. You. I got like you. hey, yeah. you know, like like little things like that for Correct. them to reflect. That would be the most. I'd be so happy. You get me? Obviously, with my personal beliefs, like you get me the being able to have them create a relationship with their God, you, with God. You get me like, Mr. that would be like, well, well, yeah, the no. elephant. Well, exactly. That's why I mean, like, if we're being real, I wouldn't prove that, you know, but like, I'm yeah. saying like to, to my beliefs, you get me like, I would love for them to have that because I think I have a strong faith and that yeah. definitely helps me through tough times. You get me? Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and, and I feel like it doesn't have a negative repercussions because I don't look down on anybody. I don't hate anybody. You get me? So those little things, those little <laughs> beliefs, like, as long as I can have them in there and everything else, you get me like, I believe that God will take care of them. And, you know, financially, we all, we all go through shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, all have, we all have that's had true. not a damn cent in our pocket. You get me? But, you know, whatever. Yeah. That comes and goes. If that go, if that's added, awesome. If not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is what it is on that one. I know. Legacy, I guess. I mean, I can say I left a little bit of legacy. I mean, mm-hmm. you guys know a lot of about me generally. Mm-hmm. So, like, let's say if I were to pass and a good movie pops out, you're going to have been like, oh, shit, Mark would have liked this. Yeah. yeah. Like, I would have been like, Mark would have liked this. Or yeah, yeah, I if I'm like, if I think about general. a movie and I'm like, six out of ten, Mark's ten, nine. <laughs> yeah. 
And then like You guys think of someone Who's wearing colorful pants Like oh shit I know someone who used to do that All the time I, I, just, I feel like I have Honestly and no, Okay just to add on thing, though. Just to add on to this The next question is How do you want people To remember you by uh, Because it's almost the same But it's a little bit different Yeah for, for, wait, wait, before I forget, because I have a memory of a goldfish. <laughs> uh, we were doing, Jack and I were playing Minecraft. We're really into Minecraft right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, there was purple pants. And I was like, oh, my pants. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. You see, it's, it's stuff like you that. Got, you know, yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. it's stuff. I feel like I have left little things. I know people find it very stupid, but at the same time, to me, it's like, oh, I like it, though. You know, mm-hmm. usually movies, I mean, you, you, guys know how much, that. you guys know how much I love Back to the Future. So anything Back to the Future gives me like, oh, shit, Mark. Yeah, you like know, uh, just stuff like that. Eighty shit, you know. That you know what? Actually, believe it or not, something definitely that's, ideas, yeah. Mm-hmm. That something that definitely like I would say would is already legacy wise is in at least for us, at least for me, I would say um, your demeanor in the sense of like mm. it's like your reactions are not are not they're not like that's wow. crazy. No, you're just like no way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What like and and that is like always like like whenever I see a reaction like that elsewhere. I related to you already. Yeah. You get me? Especially if it's yeah. in movies. I'm like, I'm like, wow, yeah. that's crazy. You get me? Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Yeah. What do you mean? I, I mean that's the yeah. highest. That's the highest of your reactions. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. It just no, goes I just that. feel like we just all leave a little bit of legacy within ourselves that we don't really realize. And that's basically what I'm coming to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We just leave things where within ourselves is a legacy. So know? how would you like to be remembered? I would like to be remembered as that guy that just enjoyed movies. Movies was a good time, you know? Usually movies got me out of depression, usually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Keeps me a little bit more adventurous mind-wise. I'm usually a little bit more out there. lets me to be a little bit more exposed, more expressive as who I am, you know? Wow. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's something that's really helped me progress as a person. But, yeah, I just feel like movies has always been my thing. Uh, how would I like to be remembered? Well, can I modify that? Go. What would you like to be, and what do you think people will? Movies. You get uh, me? Like, at work, everybody knows me as the movie guy. Mm-hmm. Like, for yeah. instance, ready? Like, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah That'd be a good example. Yeah. They'll be like, See, for oh. me, if that's the case, it'd be the YouTube guy. But what would you like to? Oh. You get me? That's what I'm saying. What do you think people will? Like, like a, a very fast, memorable thing, but what would you really like for them to see? You get me? I would like to people to, to, at the end of the day, be like, he lived the life. He didn't do anything crazy. He didn't travel anything, but he lived the life. Okay. He, he was, was happy. He was yeah. content. He was happy with he what he was doing. miserable the entire time. He lived his life to his to the own accords in that sense and mm-hmm. to his fullest. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think that definitely that, that's already been stated for us, for mm-hmm. sure. Like, I, don't, I, I can definitely say you don't go by the social norm. Yeah, you go by the like the, the road you're taking is a Vasa road for sure. You yeah, I mean yeah. <laughs> the Vasa road. Well, well, yeah, 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 like, yeah, like, yeah. You know, like, you're like, oh, for sure, he's on his road. You get me? Mm-hmm. And he's happy over there. Buddy. Exactly, exactly. It's like we look at the labels of the thing, and we're just like. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. our foster <laughs> you get me? Like, This is because that's how he wanted it And that's how he intended it to be So that's you know yep. yeah, Anything that looks labeled Anything that has to do with Zelda I'm like yep Fasto <laughs> I feel like I dwelled into my answer earlier That I kind of covered this Like you know how mm. I want No you want You said more like what you want to leave behind For your children specifically oh. But how do you want us to remember you um, Not necessarily your children Um Someone who's always there to help. Okay. Yeah. As a helpful, as a helpful, you know, like I always, always there to offer a hand, if anything. I would always like to say that. Like, say like, 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 that's it. Like, okay. you know, like, you gave me, like, I was never a burden. I was always a buddy to help. That's yeah. it. You gave me, that was there for you when you needed him the most. Basically, that's what I would like to say. Like, I was there for you. You gave me, that's it. Like, I could you not, like, you gave me, like, either, like, oh, I had a good laugh with him. I had a good, I don't know, maybe cry, but, you know. Or whatever you gave me, like oh, I had a good time. You know those crazy things. I think you're even there yeah. too. Yeah, you know I me. Mean? That's it. Just someone who was there to help. I can definitely say oh. you're more like the dad of the group. In a sense, that's how I that's, see it. Yeah, that's an interesting output. Uh, could you explain yourself? A little bit? Um, I say because you're very, you're very care. You care about everybody. I see him more like as the a mother. grandpa. He, he's oh, the more grandpa. Of a grandpa. Yeah. Really? yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I just feel like dad like you're very you are a welcoming person. You're very open to getting exactly. To know a That's person. why I feel like more of a grandpa. 
Okay. Your dad has to be stern. I'm the dad. I'm stern with all you motherfuckers. <laughs> that, you <laughs> you see, come to you me. See, you you see, don't come I, I to me to be still. the nice guy. The nice mm. guy will be grandpa. He is the grandpa. I am the I'm dad. Nice. Like, get your shit together, son. <laughs> Why are you being stupid right I'm now? But father, like, I see it. Come on. Like, quit being stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, yeah. you stupid motherfucker. And I'll be like, eh, quit being a stupid motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a chance. Come on. Give yeah, him yeah, a yeah, chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Really chance, guys. Guys. <laughs> that is interesting. Yeah. That's basically how I want to go out. I want to go out helping. Like, my, like, basically, I'm not. Of course, everyone wants their life to have purpose, right? Duh. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like we always crave, you know, we're always looking for purpose and acknowledgement and, you know, whatever. Right. But I would say that that's what I want most people to remember. Like, oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Like he helped me, you know, like he was always there to help. You know, he, yeah. he was someone who was always looking to help others. Mm-hmm. You get me? And, and like, like hopefully they can repay that kindness. You get me to somebody else. Yeah. I don't care if you know if I, if if I'm not nice either. You get me? Like, yeah. Same thing with my kids. But I definitely want to go ahead and always be kind to others. Yeah. No, for sure. It. So whose deaths were you impacted the most by? Whether it be personal, celebrity, or whatever. Just whose deaths were you impacted the most by? Oh, shit. Yes, as we're interviewing you, so forcing you to go I know. first. Oh, you guys Mr. want me to go first? No, 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 no. <laughs> I was, like, was, like, was going to ah. wait for the water if not. I was like, all right. So Bye. for me, it would be my grandma from my mom's side. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. She died in 2012 when we're junior, senior, senior year. Of high school the the thing that gets me about her is that she was diabetic blind from the left eye she was hospitalized it was like a uh, back and forth that day when she died it was like oh she's at the hospital oh she's not doing good oh, it's really not looking good oh no actually she's fine oh actually she's gonna make it through and then the last phone call she's dead Oh my god! Exactly. So it was like a wild roller coaster of like, oh, grandma's gonna wait. What? She's dead. Uh, fuck. Yeah. And it was like two, maybe three years since I had seen her since she lives in Mexico, and we live here. So that that was like a, a little bit of an impact for me, especially since that was like the first big death in, in my family okay. while I've been alive. Well, my, what would you say was the relationship you carried with her? Definitely like the loving mother. Really? Yeah, yeah. Always nice to me. Always like, oh, me Faustito. Again. Wow. Yeah. She would come visit and like, you could feel the love. It was like genuine love. That She, she was her. a grandma. Exactly. Nice. To the point where like, I feel like I didn't get that from my parents. Copy, that type copy, of love. Copy, copy. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so, like, for her, it was, like, the first, like, oh. I feel that. Jab. I get that. Gosh. And then the unfortunate part was, like, since we were not poor, but we didn't have the money for me to go to her funeral. Because oh. in Mexico, it's, like, two days, you know? Yeah. And the shitty part is I had the money. Because I had saved up in my closet, in my little yeah, piggy yeah, bank. Yeah. And my parents were, like, what? And I'm, like, yes, it's $200. I have enough for the, the bus ticket. But you have school. I go, I have nothing going on. Let me miss. I never miss. Let me go. No. Oh, so Refused. you feel even more that your parents were. Exactly. Oh, no. So like more of a fucking. Fuck that because they. <sighs> exactly. They took that away from me. Yeah, that's a big. A hundred percent. I understand if it was fully financial and How they didn't have you? the money. Uh, senior 17. Year. So 17, 18. Yeah. 17. Yeah. I was 17 because I was about to be 18. Yeah. Because I was. Wow. Yeah. That's gotcha. Yeah, so it's like I understand again if I didn't, they didn't have the money, and that was it. Okay, but I had the money, my personal money was from it the, the same savings. Work? Juarez, though, Juarez, yeah. Uh, mm, that's probably why they didn't want it. But it's uh, we'd been there. But mm. you're a buyer still. Yeah, but we'd been there. It, 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 that didn't matter. It's a funeral, you know. It's not like I'm gonna go fuck around or whatever. I'm that's not going true. to a club. It's my grandma's funeral. Yeah, that that's was true. the one that impacted you me the most. I remember going to school the next day just to pretend that I was fine. But the second I saw Loris, I broke the fuck down. Oh. Yeah. So I've never had a close family member die other than for me, in my case, it was uh, Jackie's first miscarriage. Mm. Uh, you get me? Um, that sucked. Actually, there's no shit of miscarriage. Yeah. Wow. She, like, yeah. Is she, she okay sharing this part? <laughs> uh, that's, that's why I was, I don't know. Hasn't that? I think she doesn't care, really. You okay. get me? Well, you get me? Cause lighten we, we up the mood was how... Her reaction. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the huge quintessential part. Check it out. 
Um, that's a, that's actually why it impacted me the most. So yeah, um, we believe she was pregnant, and you know she started showing signs and everything. She was, you get me, and it was at three months, right, right at the end of the first trimester, mm-hmm. which is when it usually happens. For those of you who are watching and don't know, unfortunately and very sad wise, it is a very common thing for first pregnancies. Mm-hmm. Very common, super common. I think like something like two out of three. Oh. Like I'm not even joking. You get me for the first because your body doesn't know what it's doing. Gotcha. You get me? It's like wow, 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 and then unfortunately you get me. Mm-hmm. So that's why there's always advice to wait to tell your family members of your third uh, after your first trimester because of the very fact that. Like it happened with us. We, we told people, you get me, we're too excited and everything. And then we lost. And having to basically relive the moment over and over again every time we're like, oh, like, when are you do? Or like, this. it's like, oh, like, it was multiple little pinpricks. You get me? Yeah. Like multiple mm-hmm. little pinpricks of just constantly that like we couldn't let it go because people around us and all that. You get me? Mm-hmm. But um, reason why it was so impactful is because I definitely believe it installed a core memory with Jackie and I. Can I say this? I don't think so. I, I like the story. Personally, okay. I do like the story. So uh, this is this is a really big thing. Uh, you get me? Like, and I see it as faith wise, right? So I would always say, like, oh, God knows I couldn't handle the loss of a child. Mm-hmm. He would never put me through that. You get me? And when that happened, it destroyed me, doggy. Like, mm. Yeah, not getting too into it because I don't want to get there. Right there. <laughs> uh, it, 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 I don't think I've ever been worse there. You get me? Like, that's definitely the lowest. Like, that's the rock bottom for me. You get yeah. me? I'm the man in the relationship. Jackie's the one in the hospital, like, going through the process physically, you know, passing him. You get me? I'm bawling. I'm useless as fuck, bro. Use- and uh, we recently uh, were watching Secret Life of Pets. So then she was like, it's okay, baby. You know, like she told me, like, you're, you'll, we'll be fine. You know, RIP Ricky. She said, in the hospital bed, bleeding the fuck out. I'm in tears. I'm like, this female's holding me up. <laughs> you know, like that was a core memory yeah. to know that my wife going through her, uh, going through a very rough time. Emotional, physical. Emotional, you know, spiritual, definitely. You get me mental, yeah. emo- every The whole list, the whole yeah. 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 She's holding me up. All right. Trying Ricky. to cheer, yeah, by like saying like, all right, pay Ricky. Because I don't know if you've seen the movie. In the movie, they refer to a, a recently dead friend, like, because like, and it was like a, what was it? A turtle? It was a turtle that died, but it was Kevin Hart. The bunny was like, I'm here, Ricky. You know, like, like it, she, she tried making me laugh or trying to make me feel better in that moment. It, and in such an exorbitant ray, you get me? Um, at least to me. So that's why it was so meaningful. You get me? It was like, yeah. The, it, it, out of that darkness came out that light, you know? Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> I could already see the two eyes. I know. Oh, nah, man. Was it his story or your own first? <laughs> <laughs> it's all over me. A little bit of both. Uh, I mean, of course, I've experienced three f- close family deaths, but I think the one that really did impact me the most was one of my aunts that actually lives nearby. Uh, okay. She used to babysit me all the time. and um, Like a second mom? She was kind of, yeah, basically like a second mom. Like, okay. When I was going to the school that was right here, not this one, but the one over there. Okay. Dolan. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would always pass by there. I'd stop by for breakfast. I would get some cereal or she'll make me some pancakes because she knew I would always pass wow. by. Okay. You know, she was like, she was like another mom basically. Yeah. And um, so her death did impact me just because it was just super random. Um, mm-hmm. I just came from work. This happened like in 2020, I want to say 2021. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, wow. I just had gotten home and I was just chilling on the couch, you know, and my sister and my mom were just sitting on the couch and I guess they were trying to figure out how to tell me because I mean, yeah, how do you say that? And I was just laying there and they were like, oh, we got, we got something to tell you. And I'm like, oh, what's up? Like when your aunts died. I'm like, what do you mean? And they're like, yeah, when your aunts died. I'm like, oh, how many do you have? I have a few of them actually. Okay. <laughs> But I just, she was more like my dad's aunt. She was more to me like a second aunt. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. But I just. Oh, I see the, yeah. yeah. But I still called her my aunt, you know. Copy. Yeah, you yeah, know, because. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, yeah, so I was just like, oh, like, which one? And they were like, oh, well, um, I'm not going to say her name, but. Yeah, yeah, they were like, so-and-so. And I'm like, of what? Like, I kind of, you know, I was just trying to hold myself how, together. You know, I was yeah, like, of yeah, what? Yeah, like, yeah, how? Yeah. How did this happen? 
they were like, well, they were trying to take her to the hospital. They didn't make it on time. As soon as she got into um, her daughter as well, my cu- my other cousin, um, her car, she kind of just passed like right there in like in her driveway. And I'm like, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, how? Like of what? What did she passed off of? Like what's going on? Yeah. It's like, well, we're assuming it's COVID. She couldn't really breathe. And her last word was like, I can't take this anymore. <sighs> No, oh, the fact that this got cut up is kind of creepy. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, their last word is like it's it throws me off every time when I keep because I always think of that word all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I can't take this anymore. Mm-hmm. And we were assuming it's because she couldn't really. She was forcing enough to breathe. Apparently, she couldn't breathe well. That's what the story was. Mm-hmm. And I mean, just the thought of it kind of just like no joke. Even till now, just playing that kind of just throws in my head. Like, oh, oh, I can't I can't do this anymore. It's, it's like, not that far out yeah. away, bro. Yeah, yeah. of course. And that memory is like, still very vivid. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, that I that really did break me. I didn't really show it in front of them. Mm-hmm. But I can definitely say I was upset that I ended up going to my room and I just bawled. Mm-hmm. I didn't want no one to see me because the room was dark. My brother want, my brother was in there. But he, he needed he, to leave you alone. Um <laughs> no, I mean he was in there because he already knew about it. Um, and I mean, he wanted to turn on the light and I don't like, don't turn on the light. I don't, you know, just talk oh, away. Yeah. So I was just there. I kind of was crying there for like a few, I want to say a good hour and a half. And I mean, I think it was my sister or my mom came in and they're like, you okay? I'm like, yeah, leave me alone. I was just not there. Yeah. Um, I didn't even go to work the next day cause I just didn't want no, to. Yeah. I was just not, I wasn't prepared to go to work or anything cause I was just done. I didn't want to mm-hmm. know anything. I just was... I was confused. I was just more confused. Like how the shock. It's yeah. Uh, Shocked, confused. I was just dealing with it. Mm-hmm. You know, you're, you're, you got I the just, emotional grief. Yeah, and I was just I just like I did have my time where I did get to cry on my own. I let it all out. But at that time I was just holding it. I was sucking it up as much as I can too. Mm-hmm. But the when one, you're at the knot and like you're trying yeah. to hold back, but shit still keeps coming. Yeah. Up. Like even for the viewing, I didn't want to go like they asked if I wanted to because there was only a certain amount of people uh, and they had asked me if I wanted to go. And I was like, no, nah, I don't want to go. You didn't go. No, nah, I didn't go to the viewing. Um, but I did go to the funeral, which was really weird because all my like it's really f- I, w- I don't want to say it's funny in any sense, but it's just really weird to me that I kind of knew her favorite color. And I mean, I mean, nobody told me to wear this color to the funeral, you know, and her red was her favorite color. And I didn't know about it. And my mom told me, why are you wearing red? That's not a good color for a funeral. I'm like, true. But um, from what I remember, this was her favorite color. That's so, how you're mourning her. Yeah. yeah. Fuck up. So, yeah. So when we got to the funeral, tell me why, like the whole family, like all her kids were in red. Oh, wow. And like nobody else was wearing red And I was one of the people wearing red And I didn't know that everybody was going to wear red um, Like with her kids mm-hmm. And it kind of just broke me Because I was just like damn For some reason something told you know, me to wear yeah. red Like like wear it you know Because yeah, yeah. remember you're still part of like that family Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> But yeah that day I had to wear my sunglasses And I was just bawling under the sunglasses oh, yeah. And yeah. yeah It was it was I feel like that one Really did just because it's just I spent most of my life At her house and she would Babysit me like I said And even after school I would go to her house And I would stay there my mom would get mad and call me Why are you doing over there <laughs> I'm mean, like because I don't want to be home alone, <laughs> you know. Gotcha. And so, yeah, yeah, she was a close. Mm-hmm. Yeah, funerals so. are always a bitch. That's think I think that's when I think about death the most. Yeah. I haven't had many, but even if it was like my dad's friends, uncle, or whatever, I go mm-hmm. to the funeral it's like fuck, they yeah. impact. Yeah. Well, like, I, I didn't know this person. That is bro. for you. Get me for your moment coming the recollection of their death acceptance. So they always gonna make you look. Yeah, but I'm saying too. like even if it was someone I didn't <laughs> yeah. know. Like uh, my dad's friend's uncle or whatever. Like my dad knew him, so we went and like, oh shit, this is how it is. Mm-hmm. Like, fuck that impact. So, what would be your ideal last meal? Well, let me pop out my phone because <laughs> I we pretty sure we all got that list there. Uh, I would get a tam sausage and bacon breakfast burrito. Mm. Their breakfast burritos are just the only breakfast thing that I truly desire in the morning. 
Like Say it again. I missed it. I missed it. Tam's sausage and bacon breakfast burrito. Wow. Favorite one. Can I tell you something? I, I feel he's saying Tam's. Oh, no. Tommy's was it. Tam's. Oh, oh yeah. I yeah. thought you were trying to add it to it. No, I was like, no, no, shut no, no, up. No, 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 no. I was like, shut up. No, 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 no. Tam's, Tam's. I've never had a Tommy's breakfast burrito. That that sounds like diarrhea in the morning too early. <laughs> to tell the truth, I've never had a Tommy's breakfast burrito. Even their tamales scare me. I'm like, fuck. From what, Tommy's? Yeah, yeah. Tommy's yeah. has some Alice with chili cheese on No, but Tam, Tam's, I've never had the breakfast burritos. I remember I ran into you once when I was getting my breakfast burrito at Tam's. That's right. I think it was with my family, no? D- definitely your brother. I don't remember was the rest of your family. Yeah, it was definitely was your brother. Too. I want to say no, no? but that was okay. a funny moment. The, uh, sausage and bacon breakfast burrito sausage specifically. And bacon. That's interesting. Too good. Far none anywhere else I go. Denny's is might be like a second, but it's not even a close second. Yeah, so far surpasses. Yeah, Tom. surpasses a lot. Everyone, that everyone, shit, love that shit. I love that shit. My next item would be well, it's two: taco de buche and taco del pastor. What? Yeah. Okay, yeah, this yeah. is interesting. Gotta have a little bit of Mexican in there. Okay, can't, go, can't, can't go too fancy. Can't go. <laughs> so That's that counts true. as two items. That's true. Yes, it does. So did my third: buche so, and and al pastor. When where? The place I've gotten it through and through is Gavilan. Mm. I know it's not the best, yeah. but through and through, I could rely on that one. Because sometimes, like, El Tio has good, but sometimes it's meh. The consistency, then. The consistency elsewhere is not always great. Like, the tacos you brought me, but it wasn't El Pastor, it was Asada, right? It was Asada. Yeah, those were good. Mm-hmm. But I've never had them again. So, But consistency elsewhere is always Copy. a hit or miss. Copy. You should but go again sometime. Gavilan is just... Uh, a reliable source. Copy. Uh, steak, specifically my instructions of grilling. I could, I could, I was thinking so hard of where, why, outback, black Angus. I'm going, no, no, my steak, the way I grill it, specific to my instructions. Uh, even if I have to do it myself, fuck it. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I understand me, that. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. let me grill before yeah, I go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then with that is grilled lobster. Nice. Um, from outback is pretty good. Okay. I was I was set to grill lobster okay. from okay. Outback, it's pretty good, okay. but I would like a bigger one than what they serve. Copy, because it's always small. So that's my last meal. I like a little bit of meat on my lobster. Yeah, fried calamari from Boiling Crab. The calamari there, it is the best. Olive Garden does come close second, but nothing will beat that. That the place. seasoning, I think, huh? It's the seasoning and just the texture of it. It's it's. Better in my opinion. Copy, copy, copy. No, I agree. It, it depends on which Olive Garden you go and at what time. Yeah. Would you get different consistency? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Calamari. And then my seventh item is a hot sausage, the spicy sausage, the ones I grill. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's not the ones I brought, right? No, not the ones you brought. The ones I normally grill. The one I usually have was my spaghetti. Obviously, you guys don't know, but the hot sausage was is. Pretty. We'll bomb. try once. We'll try once. Mm. We have tried it once. I've grilled them for you guys. Okay. Okay. Yeah, hot sausage. And my last item would be a cheese pupusa. Wow. Um, I gotta have, have the Mexican, Salvador, gotta yeah. have the Salvadorian side. Yeah. So it's true and true. I will not you have didn't dessert. Did you a drink? Uh, like I said, if it was like a basic soda, you didn't have to include but one. So what, what, Dr. What Pepper. Oh, Dr. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper would be my ideal mm-hmm. okay. last beverage of choice. Okay. So that is my list. Fuck you, go, you go, you I go. go. That's because I'm interested in yours. <laughs> we're all, so we're all gonna say it. Oh my god! <laughs> like shut so up, shut up. <laughs> um, for sure. I mean, for sure, you guys are gonna give me shit for this, but no. to me, I really fucking love it. Um, a three meat pizza from Papa John's. Okay, that was no that was. I wanted that oh, in my list. Man, three meat Not pizza. Papa John's, but from Domino's. I love this garlic seasoning. From the garlic Domino's. seasoning. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of Domino's. You know, I wasn't at one point in my life, but like for the last three years, yeah. Or Sam's. Yeah. I'm I surprised you picked Papa John's over Sam's because you've gotten to Sam's <sighs> more. I have, but I just because growing up with Papa John's is just something. Oh, you grew I, up with Papa John's. I grew oh, up okay. with Papa John's. There we go. So sure. to so me, there's yeah. a nostalgia. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. Definitely. Like that's, that's really something I always go for. Even until now, when I get pizza, Papa uh, John's yeah. and three me pizza. Immediately. Um, um, another one would be Chicken Alfredo, specifically from what do we, Olive Garden, just because okay. it's not the best, but, you know, it's, it's just delicious. There. Yeah. Can the nostalgia, that. it's yeah. good. I've tried other locations. They're not that great. Like Cheesecake Factory? Fuck no. Um, no. <laughs> I've had homemade Alfredo sauce, and it's always more of it's a weird. miss. It's weird. Then when you go to Olive Garden, it's like, oh, God, dear. Mm-hmm. I've, I've, I have to say, I have had one. Sorry. I've had, had one where... It was better, okay. but I don't remember the brand. Fuck. 
the brand. So it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, like you bought it and you made it? Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh Damn. Gosh, bro. It was good. Yeah. Better than Olive Garden. Oh, wow. But I'm I lost curious. the brand. So it's like, fuck! What's the point? Wow. What's the point? Like, you know, that was wasted. It's experience. just a forgotten memory. <laughs> It's just a painful memory now. Yeah. Um, another one would be steak Alfredo. <laughs> Wait, a steak Alfredo. Why can't you? You don't like it mixed. I'm Chicken not a steak. Mm, okay, yes, so. and no. I'm. Um, I'm very, very don't like. I don't know why I'm still in that sense of pickiness, but I don't like to mix the meat with from, the chicken. Okay. Um. Actually, the one from well, Outback was really good. Oh, okay. Yeah, Ooh. and for some reason I haven't gone back, but that's always stuck with me. Oh, wow. that steak Alfredo always stuck with me. So that's something I would love to eat again. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did you not have more options? Is that why you've picked two Alfredo dishes, or because there are two Alfredo dishes, but from different places, which is the crazy mm-hmm. part for me? It, it, like, it makes a difference because it's like no, you're it sticking does, to your but Italian. Like, oh, okay. You're sticking to that pasta. You're sticking to that. You're like you clearly like Alfredo. <laughs> you get mm-hmm. me? Like I do actually. So oh, then it's okay, like, oh, okay. I, yeah, I can have this one, but like I cannot not have this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, another thing I'd probably go for is the New York strawberry cheesecake. Bomb. What's, really? what which is one? I, huh? Yeah, what makes the New York special? What makes it so special? Yeah. It's just extra creamier. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Do you have a specific brand? Honestly, Porto tends to be the, the, one of the top notches. Okay. And then Cheesecake Factor is actually pretty there as well. Not going to lie. I had Cheesecake it's Factor. Mm-hmm. To be honest with you, I had it once and it was not memorable. The only okay. thing that was memorable was the bread powder. The, what? the little breads that they bring out first, oh, okay. mm, yeah. just because it was like, oh, there's a lot of variety from there. from Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, you know those free, are free, right? Yeah, I didn't know that. It's uh, like Outback, Lucille's. No, no, no. Like bread. before you leave, you can ask for one. They give it to you for free. <sighs> really? Yeah, bro, you could do that with anything. You can. Yeah, you did. Or are you talking you, about the pl- the thingy? Yeah, the bread. You can. They give you a whole ass hey. bread. Like no, like a loophole we have during Olive Garden. It's oh, like yeah. we order it first. Like, oh, can we have mm. breadsticks? And then at the end, we're like, oh, we can't eat this. Take it to go. And they'll give you like a to-go box. Oh, no, yeah. it's not like that. It's more like, oh, you know what? Can I get a... Br- a specific... Yeah. Oh, okay. Because sometimes Olive Garden is a hit or miss, whether they do or not. True. Yeah, because I would so. check the receipts and it would, they were never charge me. They'll just be like, yeah, here you go. You can take it. I'm like, what? Cool. Like, really? <laughs> cool, cool, cool. But it's pretty cool. Um, cool. Another one would be asada tacos with handmade tortillas. Ugh. That's bomb. Any specific me? Any no from where? Because asada is that has so much of a fucking variety. So it's ridiculous. Fair, yeah. But you don't have any anything in particular. Just uh, like it has to be a place. No, it has to be a place. Tacos El Gordo. El Gordo. Okay, yeah, Tacos yeah. El Gordo from a specific street though, because there's a lot of them. Okay. There's one I believe it's on H Street, or I think they moved, but it's near H Street over in San Isidro. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So there's a, that's a really good spot. Copy, copy, copy. Um, another one would be a soda fries. Oh wow! Got a soda fries. You repeat a lot. I do. That's interesting. But he knows what he likes from yeah. where. From- no, the thing is, if I'm gonna have a last meal, I don't want to repeat the dish type of thing. In in my opinion, it is like, a lot of my favorite dishes are always repeats, but in different things. So, so one you're can be in full on Mexican and one of in French fries. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. You know? of course, of course, of course. Yeah, but that's oh, not too carbs. much of a variety. It would be like a. A tortilla to a burrito to a... Fool, he can yeah. have steak, steak, and steak, and steak. <laughs> no, no, I get it. It's just like, oh, as your last meal, you don't want... To, I want to like, try my last favorite foods, you know? I get it. To have it. Alfredo, Those Alfredo, are, asada, asada. probably basic. You have a basic... I'm very basic. Take. No, that's fine. I was just... I'm just saying. You would think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. I guess. Nah, <laughs> shit, it's, it's like basically getting enchilada and a mole. It's basically the same shit, just no, different no, no, sauce. No, 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 It's like... Oh, I get you. I get your sauce. point of view. I guess. It's the same thing Because different sauce Because you said right now uh, The carne asada fries right yeah. From where though Yeah Carne asada fries uh, I'd probably say taco masa Taco they're, masa Their asada fries Are actually pretty top notch Taco naso Taco masa I don't even know what that is that, Like I said It's a place that I brought tacos I, I brought the asada fries I I don't, think, I don't think I think you tried a little bit but I, I tried a little you, bit Yeah not yeah. too memorable And That's their it. asada I'm assuming right Yeah of course Yeah carne asada With french fries and everything It was pretty good Yeah um, I think that's why I didn't try it because of the guacamole or the. It was the guac. The, the sour say, cream. Because guac. Was it the sour cream? I think it was the guac. It usually has both. So that's why I'm like, mm. it could either be one or or, or both. But I, think the gua- I think it was the guac. Because mm. you ordered your tacos without guac. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Um, another thing would also be pupusas. Pupusas is another one. Um, those are pretty good. Which ones? Uh, Revuelto. 
Yeah. Revuelto. The Revuelto ones are pretty good. Those are always my top notch ones. See, I was between Revuelto or cheese, but I like the cheesiness when it's. Revuelto with extra cheese. You see, the oh. cheese is really good. I like I it know. when it's burnt on the outside. Yes. Uh, that's what, like. Oh. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like the Revuelto with that salsa is so fucking good. I don't yeah, know what it is, but it's bomb. So, specifically from our spot. Yeah, basically. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, same here. Same here. Um, and then another, the last one would actually be funnel cake. Funnel oh, yeah. cake would be really good with the strawberry toppings, with the ice cream and everything. Ooh. Whipped cream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything. Uh, and um, then if it was for drinks, I'd yeah. say either fresh squeezed lemonade or homemade horchata. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Horchata. Well, that's a good one. Fresh squeezed lemonade or an horchata. Yeah, you no. got you to gotta jump to get your fucking drinks, th- your food no, down. Take a Dr. Pepper. Nah, like a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> but yeah, I feel like that would have been definitely my last meal. Okay. That's that's a good one. That's, mm-hmm. that's good. Well, mine's a little bit like that too, fool. Oh, okay. Because look, check it out. Ready? Yeah. King crab legs. Of course, mm-hmm. I knew that was going to be on your list. Like, and sure. I'm talking about fat. Like, whatever the. Uh, here's, I can't whatever it used to be before five years ago. Exactly. Like, I'm not even. What What is the fattest crab legs? Let's say it's Alaskan king crab legs. I want those. Like, mm-hmm. a, <laughs> you get me? Yeah. Fat. They have to be. Fat, and it has to be in good amount, bro. Yeah. That up most. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, upwards of three pounds just to myself. That's bro. wild. Because <laughs> well, you know how the shell adds weight? You yeah. Know what I mean? No, definitely. Yeah, bro. Upwards of that. Like, I can hork that down. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. I do want a steak. I want a medium rare ribeye steak, right? But the thing is that I'm open to getting a good cut of meat. I want a good cut of meat. If you're telling me, like, you know what? Ribeye is delicious. You can find the same consistency with this cut, and it's even better. Mm -hmm. Cool. Give me a medium rare that. I want a nice fucking steak. So when I think of that, I want medium uh, medium rare ribeye steak. I want basic salt, pepper, garlic, Maybe some rosemary or thyme. So you want me to make it? I got you. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> got you, baby doll. Um, Cobby short ribs or uh, uh, LA marinated short ribs. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. From KBBQ. Those. Pork or beef? Beef. I think they're beef. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think they're beef. Uh, Cobby short ribs. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure they're beef. Now you're tripping me out. No, no, they're, no, yeah, they're, they're beef. beef. They're beef. beef. And then bacon wrap, large prawns. So like the I don't big know what that is. It's like shrimp, bro. Oh, okay. It's giant oh, okay. shrimp. And it's big. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay Swallow that down With some soju bombs So like a soju tower Like beer And a soju Yeah And then uh, This is where I get This is where I get The most specific Cause these have to be these Boiling points The beef soup That Oh okay And I modify it I always add like A little bit extra This this and that Kind of like beef stew It's hot pot Oh okay You know what I mean okay. Boiling yeah. points The beef one That one <laughs> It was hard because I wanted to add it like a little soup in there, right? Yeah. So I don't know, add chicken and gnocchi or that or uh, my Thai place seafood soup. It was hard. So I just went with the beef soup because I already have a lot of uh, seafood. Even, that mm. makes sense. You know, you See, know? but it's a variety. Of course, of course. And in itself, there, there's a variety. There's trae un poquito de jaiba, trae like some fish balls, has some tendon. You know, like there's a little, there's yeah. all of them are, and the broth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then this is... This is crazy because either you had it or you didn't. And since I worked there for a while, yeah, I fucked these up. Oh, Jack in the Box. Huh? S'mores. Oh, God. Tarts <laughs> from Starbucks. For some reason, I thought it was going to be some kind of Jack in the Box shit. No. Like, oh, I was dude, thinking I Little Caesars. I'm like, Carly Cheese is breaking. <laughs> I've had, I had, had some crazy inventions, Jacks, but those are hard. Bro, s'mores tart from Starbucks warmed up. With frost, so remember Pollo Loco, the one right here in La Esquina, next to, across the street from Arco? Yeah. In front of the hotel? That Pollo Loco used to serve frosty soft serve, right? Oh, I Vanilla remember. Ice cream? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Damn, those were good. I, I'll, I'll even say dipped or not dipped. I don't give a freak. So, guys, that was our topic about deaths. I have one more question, but we're out of time. We'll ask it personally. Okay. Uh, make sure to follow Mr. Ordinary Movie Mark on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video if you enjoyed the video. Repetitive, I know. Anyways, guys, hope to see you on the next one. (laughs) Laters.